All right, guys, I'm here with a bit of information for Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. So, I don't know if you guys have been keeping up to date with the entire situation with the Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour, but for those of you guys who don't know, the Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour will be happening on January 27th and 28th, and we were supposed to be getting brand new information concerning a majority of just Dragon Ball media on the 28th. But the downside was that the Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour will not be streamed this year at all. I think there will be a stream for the Dragon Ball Fighters like tournament that'll be happening. But apart from that, there will be no live events for the Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour this year. Do I think that's a good idea? No, but unfortunately that is the case. However, we did get confirmation about, or at least, you know, as I'm recording this around two hours ago, that we are going to be getting a brand new trailer for Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, which is good because obviously this is a massive year for Dragon Ball. We are getting a brand new anime this year, and we're also hopefully getting one of the biggest Dragon Ball game releases in a very, very long time this year being Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. So of course, everybody wants to be able to tune in, and that's why everybody was worried about there not being a live stream. Not necessarily about like us getting information, but about the notion of getting a live stream because they could announce the information, but they could hold off on giving us said information until they deem it necessary to actually release it to the public. That was a major concern, but at least we don't have to worry about that concerning Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. So just reading off what the tweet says from the official Dragon Ball Games account, it says, for those who won't be attending Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour on site, a YouTube premiere will be set for Sunday, January 28th to reveal a new Dragon Ball Sparking Zero trailer. And then of course they link the Bandai Namco, you know, YouTube account and whatnot. So again, it's at least nice knowing that they recognize how big Dragon Ball Sparking Zero truly is, and they're at least covering their bases by letting us know, yes, there will be a new trailer during this event. Yes, you will see it on the same day. So that way, everybody can kind of just relax, right? And seeing that it's going to be a YouTube premiere, that already lets us know that the trailer itself is ready to go. So all we have to do is just wait for the Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour to happen, specifically that panel with the producers and whatnot. And then from there, then we can get that trailer. Now, the downside is I don't think that we'll be able to see the event with, you know, the producers, you know, where they're actually able to ask questions and all that stuff. Maybe they'll decide to turn that into a video because truthfully speaking, I am curious to see what some of the devs have to say concerning Dragon Ball Games and like the processes of like, um, you know, maybe how they make them or what we can expect to see in like Spark and Zebra and stuff like that. I am very curious about that. But as of right now, at the very least, we will be getting a brand new trailer for Dragon Ball Sparking Zero. Now, at this point, all we can do is speculate as to what can be in that trailer. And there are a few things that I would personally like to see get shown off in that trailer, right? Obviously, one of the most obvious things are more characters. I mean, when we got the first trailer, not the teaser that we got last March, but the actual first trailer we got last month during the Game Awards, we got the reveal of 20 characters, right? Because again, remember in the Tenkaichi series, each iteration of a character's form counts as an individual character. So we got the confirmation of 20 characters in the last trailer. And maybe, just maybe, they'll show us a few more, right? Maybe it's not like an absolutely astronomical amount, like 20 right off the bat, but maybe it's five more characters. If we're really lucky, maybe it's 10 more characters or something, right? But just seeing more characters in that game that are relatively ready to go would be nice, right? I mean, they kind of went through a lot of the other characters really quickly at the end of the last trailer. So being able to see maybe a few of them in action would be kind of nice. It would be nice to see Bergamo in action. It would be nice to see Broly in action, even though we did get to see a bit of Broly in action. Uh, it'd be nice to see Jiren in action, Trunks, and all the other characters that they showed. But primarily what I would like to see are characters in action 
that were not in the Tenkaichi series beforehand. And that's primarily going to be the Dragon Ball Super characters. So I know it showed what Piccolo, Yamcha, Tien, uh, Trunks, etc. right? Although I would like to see Trunks in action, I'm more interested in seeing, okay, cool. We have Bergamo, we have Broly, and we have Jiren, right? A alongside a few other characters as well. But uh, I would like to see how those three are functioning in the Tenkaichi series, because it's never been done before. So I would love to see something like that. But of course, like I said, I would like to see new characters. And if there are some new characters that they can potentially highlight to get people really excited, I would say, any character from like Universe 6 would actually work. For example, Hit, Kaba, uh, Kale, Khalifla, Kefla, you know, I think even Frost would work. And what's crazy is this is the type of game where Megeta and Botama would actually work out pretty well too. So seeing characters like that would be kind of dope. But apart from that though, I think some major hits would be, no pun intended, Hit, um, Kefla, and then if you were to go outside of Universe 6, Rose. Rose would be a big deal. Like Rose, Zamasu, and of course, Fuse Zamasu. Uh, and then if we get more Terminal Power characters, I mean, they've already shown us Jiren. So that, you know, there's that. But there's other characters from the Terminal Power that would actually be cool. Like, again, we do have Bergamo, for example, but maybe they decide to add Basil and Lavender. That would be pretty cool. Maybe they add Casserole. Uh, Topo, of course, Dispo, uh, what else, Kyawe, that would be another cool character. Like, there are so many other characters as well that they could add from the Tournament of Power that would be insane. And of course, we can't forget about the movies. We already know that Broly's in the game, so at the very least, we know that um, Dragon Ball Super Broly will be covered. But maybe they decide, okay, we've shown Dragon Ball Super Broly, maybe we can tease something with Superhero, right? even if it's not beast gohan up front right or even orange piccolo they could show the gammas they could show pan heck they could show cell max that alone would set everybody like into an absolute like hype craze because at the very least if there is even the slightest notion of superhero shown that is enough to get people excited regardless of if it shows beast gohan up front or not so again even just showing us cell max hand piccolo power awakening uh or something of the sort right or heck even just showing us the red ribbon army base that would get me more than excited because at least we will know that dragon ball super superhero is in the base game and that would be absolutely incredible. And then of course, other things I would like to see are new stages, because we've only seen a few. We've seen Namek, Dying Namek, um, the Rocky area, which could also be known as like, you know, the Wasteland or um, like the Mountainous area. It, it's had multiple names throughout the years. Uh, but I would like to see a few more stages. One big one being the Tournament of Power stage. They showed off multiple Tournament of Power characters, but not the stage itself. And again, that would be a brand new stage in the Tenkaichi series. So seeing something like that would be nice. I mean, it would obviously hype us up a bit more because we already know the Tournament of Power is going to be in that game. We have the main antagonist already confirmed to be in the game. So having them show off that stage would be incredible. And then of course, we can talk about characters, we can talk about stages, but I would assume that one of the most important things that they could do is give us at least a release window. That's it. If they don't want to give us a release date, that's fine. Um, like hopefully as long as they give us a release window. So I'm hoping that, you know, we see that release window of 2024 and then maybe like later on in the year, then they'll give us like a release date, right? But much like how it's been for modern drag mall games in general i'm hoping that when they gave us that release window and we're nearing the release of the game they decide to give us a beta i think that's probably one of the most important things that they can do to really solidify the hype for this game because if you guys don't know 
Dragon Ball Xenoverse 1, Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, and Dragon Ball Fighters all had betas, especially Dragon Ball Fighters. Dragon Ball Fighters had plenty of betas, but modern Dragon Ball games that have some sort of online multiplayer have had a beta. I think the only exception, because it really wouldn't make sense for it to have one, would have been Super Dragon Ball Heroes World Mission. That game did not have a beta and it doesn't make sense for it to have a beta. But all the other games in modern time anyway, did have a beta being the Xenoverse series and Dragon Ball Fighters. So if Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, another online multiplayer Dragon Ball game, didn't have that, that would actually blow my mind. Heck, and it, it just popped in my head. Another game that had a beta was Dragon Ball The Breakers. That game is solely online, but it had a few betas as well. So I'm hoping that we just get more heavy hitting information come January 28th concerning Dragon Ball Sparking Zero because we're all excited for the game and this is their opportunity to show us the big information because it's the Dragon Ball Games Battle Hour. That's the entire point of the event. So, but either way, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be super exciting. I'm hyped for it, you guys should be too, but I do wanna know what you guys think about all of this information in the comment section below, as well as what you guys are expecting to see in that trailer. But with that being said, I'm Minikuba, like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.